Yeah, Blockenheimer, right? Like, too, like, you know, we've talked about this being not a high, super high tiered event, but that's, you know, kind of part of the Midwest Lumion rank curves as yep. well, right? Like, these are two PR players here in the Midwest, in their respective regions, going at it with the Steve and the Wii Fit trainer. This is a matchup we've seen, been seeing on the East Coast and Midwest, and with increasing regularity, obviously, players like John Numbers is in Tri-State, players yep. like Oolong, players like Xavier, right, piloting the Wii Fit. This character's seen in Renaissance, and honestly, a lot of the Wii Fit players believe that she wins the matchup. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Noodle is the one here to prove it right now, and I'm excited to see what they got, but right now, all of it is coming through for Blockenheimer right now, getting lots of mats and everything. I will say the nice thing about the PS2, you're mining a lot of stone, and so eventually these walls are going to be even harder to take down. As I say that, though, that anvil coming through and just letting Skibbity get even more time to get that diamond out and ready. Uh, so I, one of the things I want, want, want to point out, right, Weefit is actually a character that, just, that also gets the power up from not interacting, just mm -hmm. like Steve, right? You get that deep breathing, but you're still very light, and that diamond pickaxe is going to send you back seven ways to Sunday. The ground is going to come out, as it will the back air to find the coverage. That's a nice little string, but just not able to maintain stage control. And looking for these landing nares, right? That's a huge combo starter for this character, but just such a poor risk-reward choice when Steve Uptill is the thing that contests it. And a little bit off on that calculation for the parry. Gonna punish her a little bit harder than expected. Noodle, though, holding it down, playing patient. I do like that because one mistake, you see it right there. The jab comes through, and now you are taking so much damage. My friend, so much. And now you have to contest with the wall. You can't soccer ball back the stage. You get put, you try to roll through it, and the TNT sends you right back from whence you came. Gonna miss the F smash, though. And just like that, that back air gonna let you get back in the game, but a diamond to contest. The up tilt to just get off, and now you have to fight back at, out of the corner once again. Weefit likes being on the ledge, but nobody likes being in that position against Steve. Yeah, no, Steve just able to lock the options down, but already got the deep breathing on deck. It doesn't matter, though, as look at this. Blockenheimer already racking up 47% and looking for more, but you know what? Noodle says, I'm going to reverse this here. Yeah, well, the rising neutral air, one of Weefit's lesser used combo starters, combo extenders, but very strong all the regardless. A big story that, of this so far has kind of just been that at, we haven't really seen these forward airs or forward hit or back hit really connecting at all for Noodle, right? One of Weefit's big damage dealers, big combo starters, or, or, and tech chase resets just hasn't really been an option so far. Yep. Now, try to just get through with that anvil and minecart. Look at this. All of a sudden, now that Skibbity is nice and comfortable with the amount of mats, calculations are finished. Let me go ahead and aggress Noodle. Put in the corner here. We've seen so many stocks drop. Can Skibbity end this here? Oh, the roll under, but the block, oh! the tech, gonna survive the header spike, gonna at least reset the situation. You still are in this one, Yin. Those resources are low, but the diamond in the back pocket, plus that too deep wall, man. That's a lot of free resources you're gonna get back. You gotta close this one out to even get a chance, and then a whole nother diamond to deal with. Yeah, and Skivity playing very aggressive right now, looking for the time to mine. Though Pickaxe being out here makes it a little bit harder to get those resources racked up. Oh my gosh, that soccer ball looking on a mission to find the snipe, unable to do so. I will say I love the usage of it to not only get a little bit of pressure, but also call out some of those minecarts living from the up throw, though. I like that drift back, right? The salute the sun, just force Blockenheimer to back off, give you the space to find the soccer ball in the first place, give yourself those mix-ups to f increase your chance of resetting back to stage here. The percent is high, but the piston gonna kill off the top yep. on PS2. Blockenheimer gonna take the game, but we saw at the end there, Noodle started to kind of figure out some of the adjustments. It was just at that point, right? The diamond plus the amount of stone that was had meant that there wasn't really an opportunity to find that smothering pressure you need to really snowball the advantage state against Steve. Yep, and I will say something that we especially saw near the end of that game is we saw a lot of that stone and iron come to play that I mentioned at the beginning. PS2, not mining dirt, that just allows for you to go ahead, secure up, and make it so much harder for the opponent to safely break those walls in a quick fashion. Also, shoutouts, you said like Einstein, shoutout mm -hmm. to in-game Einstein tag as the calculations ongoing already. And that's not just a TI-84, my friend, that's one of the programmable ones. So I gotta wonder, what special uh, is there a custom program that prints notes? Because you can play Oregon Trail, you can play Doom on that <laughs> thing. I'm not kidding. Is she you can playing play Mario two games? On that thing. She's 
She's emulating Smash on it, maybe. Uh, well, we don't, we don't. What? What, what is, I don't know what that means. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna get into game two here on Wii Fit's potential best stage here with Small Battlefield, but Steve likes this one quite a lot oh. too, in that lesser space to work with. More resources online. This character can scrap. 100%. The quick damage output, though, is coming in favor of Noodle here. And look at that. The down air just being a little bit off of getting the kill. Don't matter, though. 91% now. Skibbity's turn to fire back. And look at that. The ball play so good at all times with these Wii Fits. It's phenomenal. Yeah, man. Just absolutely you know, grabbing it, tossing around, finding its way all the way through. The F-Tilt now, though, gonna pressure you to the corner, send it back, and now you just continue the end of one another side, and potentially a kill. Great DI from Blockenheimer to avoid that rebound off that soccer ball, but just even still, my friend, not quite enough. This game has been a completely different story from one for Noodle, but you still have to find a way to kill Blockenheimer before that diamond gets in the back pocket. Absolutely, look at that, taking out just the bottom block with the soccer ball but unable to get on through as, look at this, Skibbity just ready at all times to go ahead, fire off, gets caught by the F-Tilt though, and going to be dropping that first stock. And but huge opportunity, right? So you're on small battlefield, you get diamond a little bit quicker. So finding that stock then was only about four mines away from the diamond coming out, give or take, right? Because there is a little yeah. bit of RNG, but finding it there resets that completely. And so now Blockenheimer, even with the resources in the tank, has to expend so many more to find a way in. And this is where the extra credit from Noodle comes to finally get to build the lead. And look at that, just locking them down on shield. Those rapid up tilts that you mentioned earlier. This scrapping potential, just so good. And now look at that, just building up the wall, taking their time to hopefully get that diamond for that third stock, but Noodle being so oppressive. Yeah, and cute little ceiling there on that wall too. The reverse mm -hmm. L locks down that soccer ball and Oh, and a lot of Wii Fit's approaches because of the way she wants to take down aerials Those with the approach. Looking for the spike, but just the sour spot. Unfortunate opportunity missed from Noodle there. But you still have the percent lead. You still can rack up the damage. And with Blockenheimer at kill percent and no resources, it's, you just have to find your way past this stone. And you have an opportunity to take the stock. But now with Diamond Online in, it's just got a whole lot harder. Yeah, this is the scary moment. And look at that. No pickaxe to be able to get the spike. That's the importance of those tools when you lose them. Ooh, they drift out oh. and then back in <laughs> off the panic air dodge. Unfortunate, but I like the idea of trying to find the way underneath to set up the optimal punish on the stage position. Unfortunately, now though you've lost that percent lead, just really has not been able to maintain the fast start. And even with now deep breathing gone as well. So the kill power is reduced. And even though F Tilt takes it, you have to contest with Diamond on the last stock. Yen, you are playing from behind no matter how far your percent lead is here. Absolutely, but you know what, right as you say that, nice good damage to get some extra credit, and if they could just hold on to their stock a little bit longer, might be able to go ahead and clear this up. 168% though, this is easy kill percent for Diamond. But that's a lot of resources you get there as well, Yid. And, and so even once you get that stock, but you have so much to just find the pressure. Looking for the footstool or oh, anvil, but the phantom by accident. Blockenheimer just a little too fast on the inputs. Gonna give Noodle that extra chance now. And to get back to the safe. Looking for the F smash to end it. That would have done it with the deep breathing at 70. Yeah, and right now this is looking kind of scary for Skibbity as they don't have diamond on deck. Right as I say that though, gotta craft it up. Understood the win con here. Needs to take this stock and that should do it the piston to seal it up, bring it to last stock. And I like using the iframes there off the plat to jump up and contest Steve, but unfortunately with the platform, the wall, and the corner there, you're just blocked between a rock and a hard place. Already taking 90 because of that diamond and the insane output that up tilt provides. So now we're chopping our way down to the last couple seconds. The up tilt back here gonna do it just yep. like that. Yin, that was two interactions for the stock. That doesn't happen in this game. <laughs> Kept it on deck and ready at all times. Blockenheimer showing up and showing out. I will say one of the nice things that we saw Noodle adjust to in that game number two was it felt like all of a sudden they had some calculations of their own with those soccer ball angles. Able to snipe out recoveries, the minecart of course, and just keep combos flowing. Yeah, my, my friend, the flow with state was unreal and coming up a little bit short, but the biggest reason for that, right, was a single just miss spacing by a couple frames because of the LA to hurt box shift, right? That dare finding its sour spot, or that, sorry, the fair air on the reverse finding its sour spot inadvertently changed the course of that game, too. And now going to final destination, no platforms to work with at all. 
Noodle realizing that the falling aerials they've looked for, those free ceilings the platforms provide for Steve is just too ooh, poor in the risk reward for this character. Yeah, although as we say that, nice quick little bit of axe play as Skibbity locking up 46% and Noodle just keeping the pressure on and trying to not allow them to get the chance to minor craft. But you know what, Skibbity always finding the time inside of the game plan. Yeah, and the tech chase there too, right? Again, caught between the ledge and the wall. Blockenheimer has done such a good job kind of just trapping you, you know, literally locking you in there with her. her. And now it's just WeFit trying desperately to land on you. Uh, something that is so hard to do when you're just leaned into this constant barrage of up tilts. Yeah, and oh, she gets sniped out by the header. And now look at that. Noodle, once again, going for that forward air spike with the heel, just unable to lock it on. Might be able to see that a little bit later if they can just find the spacing. But right now, Look at that grab. Beautiful to punish the aggression. I'm a little surprised we keep seeing the forward air spike attempts come out when you when, with the amount of time that Noodles had to, has to set them up. Because down air is just significantly easier to line up and find consistently. It, obviously, forward air is cooler looking, and, and, and the upside is a little better, but you don't have to do it in the scramble. You can just find that dare and hit it consistently. Not doing so is reducing your opportunities, increasing those interactions to kill, and giving Blockenheimer the diamond, giving Blockenheimer the resources, and every interaction you don't kill Steve, right, is, is an interaction that even if you win neutral, they're building a lead on you. Now, look at that, just a small whiff. All Skibbity needs to find an opening and get another kill, and with diamond on deck for the next stock, this is looking really good here. Though Noodle firing right back, always keeping on it and keeping it nice and close so far. Yeah, found the down and in DI, but just wasn't able to get it far enough to find a way back. Looking for the header, that would have been so much damage again. And I appreciate that you keep bringing up how much damage that we see Noodle getting off these first interactions 50, 60% every time, because Weevil's damage output is not talked about nearly enough. Absolutely. The aggression from this character, typically considered more of a zoner, is absolutely immaculate, especially once that deep breathing gets on. And I love how Noodle's using it as a mix-up tool with the in neutral. And now on deck, not able to find the uh, exact hit they wanted, and now Skibbity able to fire right back. Yeah, that clank, right, breaking up the neutral air one, which does, in, does combo in the back air there, just meant that is the scramble. They go in the favor, trying to find a way into that block, but Block and I were putting it it four high, just a little too far to kind of disrupt their own TNT there. Beautiful play. Now lock that ledge. Noodle just dancing around Skibbity's options and able and, to get on through. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw that forward air there. Actually looked like the ECB clipped into the stage because that was an NIL. There was no landing lag on that at all. So, oh, Noodle finding a kind of a very inconsistent piece of universal character tech in this game to their advantage there, but not able to capitalize. And now just, again, trying to find the pressure. Down a stock here. Deep breathing now gone. You have to find your way through the maze, through the anvil, and everything under the sun to just get Blockenheimer off stage. And the way they've been playing is absolutely insane. I love that stall without the anvil. That was so heads up. Absolutely phenomenal calculations there. Gets caught up by the grab, though. A little off on the map today, but it don't matter as they are still in the lead. It's Noodle really trying to find this stock at 137. This is starting to get scary, the amount of rage here. And Noodle here, here looking to combat some science with alchemy, turn the lead that has weighed down on their victories in this set to gold, but first they need to find the stock up to get a chance. Here at 153, forward air, back air, up air are gonna do it, but we we just haven't seen the opportunity. Blockenheimer has done such a good job of staying grounded and force Noodle to land on them rather than the reverse. Or she has not uh, given a single opportunity for those aerial kill moves to come out, and so it's finally the dash attack that does it, but you just can't keep forcing the, that to be the main option. Look at that, just letting the ball try to hold on. Oh my yep. gosh, the mine card. The rebound off the ball, you got caught by it, but you hit it first, so it bounced back and broke the ball, or the cart on reaction. And Soccer Ball's interaction with Minecart, its ability to bounce off walls to get set up and rebound back into your own combos for extensions is a huge reason Leafit does so well against this character. They're so good at dealing with walls, anvil, every single thing. But unfortunately, just Noodle not able to figure it out as Blockenheimer locks it down with a clean 3-0 and checks the notes again, just mm -hmm. as she calculated, my friend, 
That is as direct a correlation as it gets. The Blockenheimer stocks continue to rise at this event. And, you know, we have Comet, we have Doorstop, we have players like Tim Prater in the building as well. There is a lot of Midwest regional talent here this weekend regardless of this event's tier, but the way Blockenheimer has been playing, the creativity she consistently has showed on this Steve, my friend, I don't know. Not only is she a favorite of the crowd, but she might just be making a case that she should be a favorite to win this event. She's here to blow this door wide open and know what she's taking every t opportunity that she can. Look at this right here. Block play, doesn't matter. Get that dash attack, Noodle comes on through, but right here, what can you do as Blockenheimer said more mine carts more wins and, gets the back and i want to jump back and talk about that interaction for just a second there on that last on that last replay a a here watch this rebound right it comes back and then the soccer ball bounce bounces off we there we go <laughs> there we go oh it's we're online with the stylus finally right it bounce it bounces off off and covers so much. It forces Blockenheimer to approach here and come up with a close range ledge trap sooner than she would like. This allows Noodle a lot more time to react to find the soccer ball again, right? Which bounced the TNT a little farther than it otherwise would off the slide off to allow the, the weave through. And then because of how fast, right? Frame, this comes out frame four. Or you're able to weave through, find your way a, and wiggle past that down tilt and find a route back to stage. That initial soccer ball that we saw rebound, even though it didn't work out, is why you get back to ledge in the first place. Incredibly heads up play, even though Blockenheimer still managed to close it out. And that level of dynamic pressure that soccer ball provides is a reason that back in New York, we like to refer to that as player number three. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Mm. The small interactions, especially within a dynamic character such as mm. We Fit Trainer, blink of an eye. That's all it takes. One blink.